My name is Melina Lavocan Massimo, and I'm a member of the Lubicon Cree First Nation in Alberta, and I'm also a climate energy campaigner with Greenpeace Canada. The tar sands will become the biggest industrial project on the face of the planet if we do not stop what's happening or transition away from dirty fossil fuel. It is named one of the dirtiest fuels on the planet. Um, basically, it's a solid mass that, it, that we're extracting from the earth, so it takes more energy, more water, and produces more carbon emissions because of that. But what we're seeing happening to the communities around these projects are elevated rates of cancers, um, as well as elevated rates of respiratory illnesses like emphysema and asthma because there's air quality issues, there's contamination to the water, um, destruction and complete fragmentation of the boreal forest, which is the one of the last remaining intact forests in the world. The people that I talk to in the north are concerned about what's happening because they're seeing the impacts already. And we're just talking about two to three percent, if that, of tar sands that's already been produced, but we're already seeing mines the size of cities. You know, we're seeing massive exploitation of the area already. You know, we're seeing an onset of more trucks, more pipelines, more transmission lines, all of the associated infrastructure that's needed for tar sands. And yet, for the Keystone XL um, to be built, it's a signal and more pressure for tar sands to be produced at the source. So we're quite concerned, you know, what happens here in Washington will ultimately affect us.